First of all, I want to thank you for making this conversation possible. Um, there's yeah, well, beautiful. thanks for helping out. Hey, no problem. <laughs> um, I am asking a question on behalf of somebody who means the world to me. Oh, so there's, there's some struggling. There's part of it. So we know you think that you're asking it on behalf of them, but that's never true. You're asking it on behalf of you. So let's just get that squared away. Other people are part of your intentionality and you care what's going on with other people, but this is your point of attraction. So know that as you express it. Thank you. What would you say to someone who had finally found her happy, feeling invincible and worthy, only to suffer a mental break, be institutionalized, diagnosed with bipolar, treated with multiple medications that leave her feeling completely depressed, unfocused and lifeless? We would say it's exactly like what we just went through. Wouldn't you? Yep. Yeah. So she's feeling at this point that everything so, that so she wait. is. So wait, I'm feeling about what she's feeling. This is the point of this. We're going to talk about this, but more important, we want to talk about what you're feeling about this because we have never worked so hard to get someone in the chair. <laughs> okay. How I feel about this is that when I look at this person who appears to be suffering I see the wholeness and the beauty of who she is we know you want to but we don't believe you yet we know that's what you want to do but that clarity is not within you if that clarity were within you and we point in your direction there would have been such a connection between you and us that everything else would have been obliterated around you Jerry used to tell the story that when you are clear about what you want and he used the example of walking through an airport try it sometime Esther plays it all the time so you're walking through an airport and you're just sort of drifting a crowded airport and people just kind of bump you and you're stopping frequently to wait for it to clear and then you're looking for an end run where you can get around somebody or you can be very clear about where you're going and be moving in that direction it's like the seas just part for you it's like everyone becomes a cooperative component to your intentionality well that intentionality it isn't a determination as we were talking about in our first conversation it's not determination in other words me using my powerful mind and my invincible being to make things happen it's me connected with source energy who knows what my intention is who is able to influence everything that's going on around me because one who's connected to the stream is more powerful than a million who are not if you are able to connect with who you are then your power of influence is mighty but if you're letting what you're observing, especially with someone who you care about so much, if you're letting what you are observing be the basis for your vibration, even though you say words that sound good and you say words that you really want to feel and mean, because you haven't made that jump, you haven't harnessed that connection. And so you're not more powerful than millions who are not. And you can tell it by the ongoing concern and discomfort that you're feeling you got to feel the desire before you can influence it so it works like this just relax you're gonna hear this because you're not far off of this at all we are so enjoying your receptivity this is a wonderful thing that's happening here you know how we began today talking about your inner being and the point of attraction that your inner being has and you and the point of attraction that you have and that those two points of attraction really equal how you feel the more in harmony you are with your inner being the more glorious you feel and the more resistant you are the less wonderful you feel but there's another thing to know about that the more in harmony then the more you've joined that point of attraction so that when you join your inner beings point of attraction that's when it really looks like the universe is just knocking itself out just for you just for you just for you just for you that is such a powerful point of attraction and so in like manner when you are focused upon someone you care about and you're under the influence of what they're living then they're kind of controlling what's going on and you're sort of a cooperative component to what you don't want and your emotions indicate that but if you've gotten out ahead of it if you've meditated if you've segment intended if you've daydreamed if you've quieted your mind if you've distracted yourself from the details of that enough that you are beginning more and more to tune to who you really are so that you're standing on this subject with your inner being and what your inner being knows now because 
you're human and you can be seen and you can be felt and you can be heard the words that come out of your mouth carry a vibrational stream with them so there's a different stream that comes out of your mouth when you're tuned in with your inner being than comes out of your mouth when you're tuned into the problem so you've joined your inner being in the solution not the problem and you're more powerful than millions who are not and now you can be witnessed by someone else in the same way that your inner being has gathered you up you can gather them up that's what the power of influence is but you can't fake it lip service doesn't get it it's like when your gas gauge says empty you don't put a happy face sticker over it because you don't want to face it oh no my gas gauge isn't empty it's not empty it's not empty see it's happy face on it till you run out of gas and then you peel it off and you go, oh yeah it was empty I just didn't let myself know it and so if you want to help somebody you got to get feeling really good about where they are which means you got to look at this part of them not this part of them when you look at the solution when you look at the wholeness you use those words but the words weren't backed up by vibrational expectation you see so that's the basis of it everyone got it yeah don't let people talk you in to responding to their problems don't let your observation of their problems be the basis of your vibrational offering because you won't help them and then they're the reason that you're not in alignment with who you really are so if somebody is thinking that the only solution they have is to maybe exit this life again we don't want to talk about them we only want to talk about you okay but so yeah what you're so that saying... person just scared the fire out of you that person said something so dramatic that you can't stop thinking about it but you gotta because that doesn't serve them or me yeah we know how difficult it is because you all have trained each other you've been controlling each other with all kinds of well-meaning manipulation mm -hmm when someone's really hurting they want solution and they want it from you and they want it now but they can't get it from you because you're not the source of it for them unless you are if you're tuned in tap 10 turned on if you know who this person is if you know the power of their being if you know where they're going if you know what's in their vortex which your inner being will help you to know you've just got to decide which part of them you're going to make your object of attention we had a conversation similar to this not this intense not this productive not this valuable not this big not this dramatic with a mother some years ago and she said when we were encouraging alignment and then attention not attention without alignment well won't my son feel that I am forsaking him and we said well how could anyone feel like they're being forgotten or like they're not important when you're focused unequivocally on the wholeness of who they are and reflecting the beauty of that back to them constantly in other words when you know what you know if you had some illness dripping from your body and you showed up in a doctor's office and the doctor went oh my god <laughs> that does not instill confidence that's not the doctor that you would say can you help me <laughs> he's afraid of you but if you see someone who says yeah that's good seen it before confident in your well-being most doctors are not all that confident in your well-being because your illnesses have trained them into negative expectation but you get our point how can somebody who is under the influence of medication regain clarity and connection are you under the influence of medication I am not then that question is off limits right now okay that question is none of your business and neither is the answer because we keep talking to you about your influence and you keep looking back at what's going on so so far you haven't heard anything we've said well you've heard it but it's not registering with you and it's all right we get why well I'm feeling like if I don't get these answers then I'm letting them down well you know often in a gathering like this if there's someone as we're using this word deliberately as 
sort of balled up in resistance as you are about this we wouldn't call you forward because of the struggle of the explanation but because of the willingness of this group and because lots of them have similar things going on but most important because of the power of your desire you light it up even with the resistance all around you instead of being bright gold which is what Esther usually sees you were green but you were the brightest green that she has ever seen now this is just Esther's interpretation so she was compelled there couldn't get her eyes off of you couldn't not keep pointing there because the desire is so strong even though the resistance is strong too as is evidenced by this conversation well that's something worth taking away today you're getting these answers you're just not quite ready to let them in because for some reason you've decided a lot of people do you've decided to blame yourself for where this person is you feel like this is your last chance to help and your attitude is and if I'd been better along the way then this wouldn't be at this situation and this had nothing to do with you this is not something that you must overcome this is something that your life experience that you want to overcome you've put so much in your vortex about the happiness and well-being of this person that that's all your inner being sees and this temporary disconnect we're talking about yours not theirs what we want you to hear from us is you can find connection while that's going on you can find connection while that's going on you can find connection while that's going on you can find distraction from that while that's going on that doesn't feel like it because it's the only thing you think about it's what you think about when you wake up it's what you think about all day it's what you think about when you go to bed you're obsessed with it and we get why we get why but you're obsessed with it from a vibrational place that isn't helping and it's depleting you to the point that you're green right Thank you. I love you so much. At least much. you're lighting up. I know, right? Don't underestimate that. You're not bored with this conversation, are you? Don't you all know? Can't you feel when you really want something? And can't you tell? Can't you feel when you're on the wrong end of the stick of something that you want? And don't you just want to demand of the universe that they make you an exception? But the law of attraction won't make you an exception. And so the power of your desire, you've just got to work it around a little bit and it'll get a little bit better every day. And you've got time for this. There's so much that we can see here that we aren't concerned and you've got to reach that place too. But in all fairness to you, we're never concerned about anything. <laughs> we just trained ourselves that way. We just don't look there. We just don't look there because it doesn't help. We don't look there because the bigger part of you and the object of your attention is here. You've just got to know that, but that's that trust. And every day as you gather information that frays at the ribbons of your trust, it doesn't help you. So you've got to find some way of separating yourself a little bit from that. A book that you can write in will help you a lot. And writing positive aspects of things, especially off that subject, will help you a lot. It's like when you pick up this stick that says my desire for this person and my fear about my desire for this person. In other words, every stick is two subjects. Put the stick back in the pile and realize that there are a whole lot of sticks in that pile. And every time you pick that one up, you go to the wrong end because you care too much because you're off on the wrong foot on it. And it's not going to get better picking up that stick easily you could you made some progress here but the entire universe is focused with you and you were still stubborn mm -hmm. we loved how this came about we almost had to leave the stage and go bodily bring you to the stage <laughs> but in that pile of stick there are a whole lot of other sticks in that pile that you do have the ability to pluck up and focus on and a lot of those sticks you already feel good about can you name some of those subjects where you have no worries in the same way that this subject calls you that way can you tell us any other subject that easily calls you this way actually the thing that I find most pleasure in is uh, my fairy garden and the story that kind of evolved from that and it's changed my perspective um, and how I live my life all right that's one thing what else uh, the knowing through this fairy garden. Yep. That we're looking I'm, for subjects. We're looking for subjects. Um, my connection to source. That's my, a good one. Oh, my granddaughter. Who ah, totally ah. 
keeps me connected to my yeah. source doesn't keep you connected you stay connected is your granddaughter keeping you connected because she offers conditions that make you